Hello everyone and welcome to Honeywell Solutions video for TCAS2. In this video, we will talk about TCAS TP100B reliability solutions. Let's begin with TCAS TP100 system functioning. The TCAS system monitors the airspace surrounding your aircraft by interrogating the transponder of intruding aircraft. The interrogation reply enables TCAS2 to compute the following information about the intruder. Range between your aircraft and the intruder, relative bearing to the intruder, altitude and vertical speed of the intruder if intruder is reporting an altitude, closing rate between the intruder and your aircraft. Using this data, TCAS predicts the time to and the separation at the intruder's closest point of approach, also known as CPA. When TCAS predicts that certain safe boundaries may be violated, it issues a traffic advisory TA to alert the crew that closing traffic is in the vicinity. If the intruder continues to close, TCAS issues a resolution advisory RA to obtain or maintain safe vertical separation between your aircraft and the intruder. TCAS then generates appropriate display and oral warnings. Below are the CAS 100 system components. To start with no data from TCAS issue, leading to TCAS testing as no fault found on Airbus fleet. The issue or problem reported is TCAS nav TCAS faults and or no data from TCAS faults have been reported on Airbus single aisle long range aircraft after upgrade of Honeywell TCAS from TP100A, part number 940-0300-001 to TP100B, part number 940-0351-001 or 005. The removed units have been tested at Honeywell RNO as no fault found. The root cause analysis found software problems within the surveillance function processing causing brief in-air auto resets. There were two root causes when we investigated this issue. The first root cause was track ID numbers not reused by the surveillance function. When the maximum track ID number of 255 was reached and the software tries to reinitiate a new intruder, no track ID number is available and a reset can occur. The root cause two with intruders transitioning from hybrid surveillance to active surveillance can sometimes be lost when moved to the surveillance lists that store the active intruders. In these cases, contention between the surveillance lists can result in the intruder being prematurely deleted from the list, which will cause the software to reset when it tries to find the deleted intruder. Corrective action for root cause one, which is track ID numbers not reused by the surveillance function. The solution is to implement the ability to free up and reuse track ID numbers. Root cause two, which is intruders transitioning from hybrid surveillance to active surveillance can sometimes be lost. The solution is to improve the control coupling for processing of intruder lists when transitioning intruders from hybrid surveillance to active surveillance. Both these issues are fixed with software update, leading to part number change for Airbus units to dash 006. This solution can be implemented through Service Bulletin 940-0351-34-0008. Receiver assembly Y1 oscillator failures. The issue of problem reported was TCAS failures reported from the field, which were caused by failures of the Y1 oscillator on TCAS receiver assembly. Failures indicated in the cockpit with a TCAS fail message. TCAS processor typically logs TX output power low, which is T1PW or T2PW or T3PW or T4PW. Either one of these faults or RX calibration fault RCTO in byte NVM, which is non-volatile memory. 
Root cause analysis identified a receiver assembly failure mode in the Y1 oscillator, which may fail when exposed to substantial vibration and environmental stresses. During environmental stress, the oscillator may lose electrical connection with the circuit card and cause loss of oscillator frequency. We found inadequate mechanical solder connection within the component validated with mechanical failure analysis and X-ray analysis. As a corrective action, Honeywell is pursuing replacement of Y1 oscillator with an improved component that will retain securely connection with receiver board when exposed to substantial vibrations and environmental stresses. Solution incorporated is Hardware Mod 15. This solution can be implemented through Service Bulletin 940-0300-34-0015. Here we have a list of service bulletins that bring in reliability improvements or some for obsolescence. Please download the latest SB revision from Honeywell Myers Space Portal.